Qualifying is now underway. Again, a reminder, instead of two different rounds, it will be one round for the two separate groups. There will be two laps. So what that means is the fastest five cars from each group are going to make up the top 10. Then from positions 11 on back, group B, those drivers will be on the inside row and group A, those drivers will be on the outside row. Again, that's positions 11 on back, but it, it's only one round. 2375, first lap for Briscoe. We'll see if he can improve upon that in lap two. They normally have been. From a 2375 to a 2367, so a little pickup. Denny Hamlin looking once again very strong in 2024. What puts him over the edge for a championship for this driver? Look, they have the skill. He and Chris Gabehart are some of the very best in this series. I think a little bit of mentality, honestly. I think they need to embrace the playoffs, embrace the fact that it's one race. Just go take it from everybody. 24 flat, first lap for Denny Hamlin. Hamlin three wins already on the season. Compared to yesterday, really late back into the gas for these guys. He's working in there. It's a great shot. Love hearing the engine. 2389, third fastest in Group A. Here comes Todd Gilliland. Just recently announced he will extend his contract with Front Row Motorsports. Whoa! Wow. Right up against the wall there. He did a good job of getting to doing exactly what I said. Lifted a little bit early, got to the line, went to the throttle quickly to get speed, and almost got in the wall on the exit. All right, so now learn. Back to the white line. Don't ask so much of it. Right? That's much smoother. Again, focus on getting there. Don't miss the bottom. Pretty good through three and four. Better. Yeah, let's see if this gets a better lap time. It's a much smoother lap. 24-19 to a 23-90. That, Br that lap that Briscoe laid down is it's looking pretty good right now. Seems like the track got better, and then it just kind of stalled out. Lap two for Bush. Big improvement, 23.69. Almost a half a second faster for Kyle Bush on his second lap. Ease up on this entry. Because I think the pole is out there for him. I think fast, group, fast time and group A is there, possibly. Let's see if he can get turn three right. Nope. Just never got down to that white line that you mentioned. So Reddick was 2370 on his first lap. And second lap, not faster at a 2403. Two laps of qualifying. And what that means is the fastest five from Group A and the fastest five from Group B, they will make up the top 10 starting positions. Uh, based upon their speed over these two laps. And then positions 11th through 36th will be filled up on the inside lane, uh, six fastest on the way down in Group B, and the outside lane will be six fastest all the way down in Group A. So one round of qualifying, a little modified since there was rain in the area earlier and shortening this qualifying session. I thought that lap was really good. That is the fastest lap turn today. 23.53. Risco ran a 23.67, and Haley improved at a 23.47. That means the grip's there, but you can't overdrive it. Missed the bottom a little bit right there. It's just such a t difficult balance. Josh Berry cut his teeth. Look at that. And faster, 23.17 for Josh Berry, but third fastest on his first lap. Let's see if he can pick up. Looks like the pole is going to come out of this group. 
It's just who will have it. Right now, Josh Berry holding on to that top spot. And Byron, a little bit better, 23-23. Here's a look at those bumps coming down there. Very massive bump there getting into turn one. I think this is a really important weekend for this 22 team. This is where their strength has been this year on short tracks. They need to capitalize. Had a good car on the road course last weekend. Didn't get the points they were hoping to get. Gave away stage points in the first stage by pitting. Ended up getting in a wreck. And a pickup of a little over a tenth could put him to the top of the list. Let's see if he's able to grab it here. Logano 23-28 does not move to the top of the list. Okay, that looked good. We'll see if it equates to speed. Fourth fastest, 23-28 for his first lap. Saw something similar out of Logano. Let's see if he can pick up on his second lap. Logano wasn't able to. I like the exit of two didn't go as well oh, for him. Whoa. Now, now just quit, right? Now, at that point, Rick, when you see a car go up the racetrack like that, what happens is you just quit turning the wheel. Like you get loose, you correct. You know your lap's over. Now it's just, okay, get, make it go straight. Slow it down. Don't get in the wall. It's just a, it's, you're just saving the race car at that point. All right. Looks don't pay, but <laughs> this one looks good, too. Let's see. Kozlowski, fifth quickest at a 23.41. Good one and two. Never got down to the white line. We'll see if that means no improvement on the second lap. 23-41 on the first lap. 23-27 on the second lap. Third fastest for Keselowski. Logano and Suarez will be top five. Blaney pushed all there was right there. He went to the throttle early. Got up the racetrack again. He is aggressively going after the throttle. Paid off. Top of the chart for Ryan Blaney, 23-10. There's a little bit of, what you saw there was a lot of confidence and the willingness to, to have a bad lap in the effort to get a good one. Like he went to the throttle so quick Larson at 19 on his first lap. He has to pick up. There's a little less than a tenth. Can he get it here as he comes to the line? It's Larson, 23-084. That was fun. Second fastest for Blaney. He'll start second in tomorrow's race. But it's Larson who grabs the fastest lap in the first ever running of the Cup Series race at Iowa. As we take a look at the starting grid, again, it was just one round. So the top 10 starting positions, five came from Group A, five from Group B. But the fastest five were out of that second group, Group B. And you see them in rows one, two, and three. On back into row eight, Chris Busher still looking for a win in 2024, starting in that eighth row. Bill Gregson had a really fast car yesterday, starting back in the 12th row. Watch him. I think he'll be coming forward. Ty Gibbs back in row 14. Martin Trex Jr. will start in row 16. And back to final qualifiers there in Ricky Sinhouse Jr. and Austin Dillon.
Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.